to the channel. It's 8.35 and we are at Odessa in Tracy. Please subscribe to our channel and like. If you have any comments, drop them below. Right now what I'm doing, I'm, I'm locking all my, uh, taking the locks off because I'm going to put a car on the top. We're hauling three cars. Not sure if they're going to fit, so. Two trucks and an SUV. Yeah. As you can tell, he's very off, but he's trying to correct himself. I think it's a full electric car. Maybe right there. This car right here is going to Hayward, I believe. All right, now I'm gonna load up the truck. Look at that, twins. I'm gonna go in the front and guide him as far as distance. Well, let's keep our fingers crossed. We could load this up without putting two cars on the top and one on the bottom. That's my guy right there. Hey, look at all the Teslas. A lot of Teslas, man. You have two and a half foot. A foot and a half. Slow down. You have about a foot. So I just guided him with my with you know fingers so that he can see how much distance he had. Okay, I'm gonna grab the other truck. All right. <laughs> hey, welcome back to our channel. Hopefully it fits. It'll fit. We just gotta put a flag on it. I left my phone in here. Wow. <laughs> now he put the rings up here on the trailer. He put these up, they were down. That because he intends to use it and like it is here. All right. Let's keep our fingers crossed if it's going to fit. So we just need four tires on the trailer. Slow down, slow down. You have a foot and a half. You have 
six inches. Keep going, keep going, keep going. When it stop, stop, stop. Back up. Why well, hit it? Very close. How's it back? And then when you put on the brakes, it went back a little bit more. You can go up just in it. When you put on the brakes, it went it went back. Want me to get in there? Yeah, you're gonna have to because I gotta put a I gotta put a strap back here. Okay. So what he's gonna do now is he's gonna have me get in the truck and then he's gonna go forward and backward in order to put the straps. So once he's finished, I'll show you what um, what he did. Okay, you ready? Yes. All right, go forward. When I go forward and there's just a small distance, I put one foot on the brake and one on the gas. Damn it. Gee, a little more, a little more. Hey, jump on this track, go forward. In the truck and the Audi, there's about three, four, eight, no, there's at least five, six inches. So he wants me to go forward a couple of inches. <laughs> it's gonna work. Little more, just a hair. Keep going. Keep going. Okay, just hold the brake right there. So I remain in the vehicle. My foot is on the brake and he's gonna strap it. Once he tells me he's finished, I'll put it in park and put the emergency brake on. Okay. Back up. Stop. Okay, back up more. Stop, right there. Put the emergency brake on. Okay, now you're gonna jump on that truck and go back. So I have to be careful going back because I saw there was only a couple of inches. Whoa, whoa, hey, hey! Go <laughs> up about that much. Whoa! Go back about that much, oh. about a quarter inch. Oh, wait there, hold on. Okay, you're good. This is about a half inch right here. This is about a half inch, okay? okay. Yes. Okay, you're gonna follow me with the camera? Maybe we've got about an inch right here. Uh huh. The same thing over there, about an inch. And look at the back over here. Hey. Oh, wow. So as you saw, um, two Toyota Tacomas and an Audi Q5 do fit on the Kaufman AZ4. 
three vehicles fit. And he showed a couple of seconds ago, there's a good inch or so there. The Audi is backed all the way up, and there's probably two right. and a half foot over. Finish strapping. And there's probably three foot overhang in the, in the back. You know what? I think if I was going to do it all over again, I'd probably, the first, first car, go straight in with it. Okay, look at all that room. Let's see. <laughs> it's about the same. No. Look at this. This is probably, the front is probably about a foot long. Oh. Yes, it's about the same. About the same. Because this bumper comes out. To gain more room, you would have had to back up a truck to the first position. So, my spare tire on my trailer, I got it. I came up with a good idea. It looks like they spilled some diesel fuel there and they put the sand, but no one picked up the, the hazardous waste. So I got a spare tire right there. Yes. And I, I was watching this uh, the other day on YouTube. How to bring down that tire if you're by yourself. If, you're, if you have two people, that, you could bring it down. But take a look at this right here. I came up with this idea. I want to go to pick a pool probably this weekend. See this thing right here? Yes. I'm gonna I'm gonna buy this whole thing right here. The little bracket. See? You lower the tire. Oh. So I'm gonna do that to my uh, trailer so I can you stick the long bar right here, it lowers uh, the tire. What do you think of that idea? That's a good idea. Yeah. See? All right, I got to finish strapping. Look at this big old overhang. What's the... You're thinking about three foot overhang right there? Yeah, I'm guessing. Anytime you pick up uh, a truck, with any accessories, ladders, whatever on the top, make sure they're strapped down. I checked it earlier, everything's strapped down. Because if you lose that ladder, you know what's gonna happen, you're liable for it. Yeah. I'm liable. I'm doing this, uh, having a big medium-sized SUV. You think that's a medium-sized SUV? Yeah, that's medium, it's a Q5. And two Tacomas like this? If it were an Audi Q3, it would be a small, but that one's a Q5. Yeah. I mean, I end up using every inch of the trailer. <laughs> so he's curious what the height is. Can we can we ask, ask the gentleman when he comes back what the height no. is? <laughs> he's curious what the height of this, tra this, um, this load is. But of course, it's not our load. And he's, he wants to ask, if we can measure it. But again, it's not our load, so I told them no. I'm a little rusty. I don't know why. Normally it takes me. You are taking a little longer here. Are you finished? Are you finished? Almost. All right. Good. 
One last check of the load. Ooh. It's 927 and we are off. It's 1018 and we just arrived at in San Ramon. So we're gonna deliver the two trucks. Now there isn't much room here, so we have to park in the center. Okay, go ahead, back up. Okay, back up. Straight back. Keep going, straight back. So he just drove about a block or two down. This is a safer place to lower the Audi. <laughs> Careful. There you go. I'm just waiting for his signal. Come on down. Come on. There's the signal, so I'm going to go ahead and drive it down. It's 1118, and we just made it to our last drop, which is an Audi dealership in Fremont. We're going to go ahead and deliver this Audi Q5 e tron SUV. Once we do this, we'll be finished for the day, but of course we do have a drive back to Stockton. It's 11.30 and the Audi e-tron is delivered. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please drop them below and I hope you enjoyed the video.